Hello guys, it's Beamus here, and this is another replay of mine, it's in the Jagdtige, and oh boy, this thing rocks, it, it just really does, it, I can't help but describe it as a freaking thing that is amazing, because it, it really is, you say everything you want about it, oh, come on, let me, there we go, but the one thing that does make it excellent is the gun. It is extremely accurate. It is, uh, what would I say, 10 second reload time so, of the sorts. Yeah, 10, 11. But it is, yeah, like I said, extremely accurate. And damage penetration is really, really good. 560 damage, 276 penetration on normal AP ammo. APCR. 352 <laughs> penetration so yeah and well I almost never need to use it most of the time because well it's I'm yeah, I'm up front most of the time because the um, superstructure armor is really good and you just saw that the uh, high flying st 49 just blew the dicks away from the AMX 3090 so yeah it's a uh, it's not going. It's not going great for him. Uh, no, E75. Hopefully, he uh, he misses. And I shoot his tracks off, and he gets a shot. I think by the DW Tiger. So that's a lot of uh, tracking damage for me. And here I say to a uh, good job uh, on stream that he needs to move up and actually take the shot because well he has a turret and I don't. So yeah, that's the thing. Oh. Something is happening to the frame rate. Let's wait a second. Alright, uh, that was a bit of a lag or frame rate droppage, so uh, yeah, just uh, stopped a few things and now we're back into the game where the good job gets his face shot off. But now we're waiting for the E75 and he shows his low front plate. He got a very low roll actually, otherwise I would have got the E75, but no matter. The Jagdpanzer of E100 <laughs> takes a shot and actually you know, he can do uh, about a thousand damage but of course he doesn't because he wants to take out a good job in his E75 This E75 get, wants to take get taken out Yeah, I know I just said uh, 50 damage for the Jagdpanzer E100 and I could have done 500 damage but you know, moving a gun in the game is always good yeah, I'm just waiting for the artillery to uh, strike down and, well, they outnumber us very heavily. I'm a tier 9, behind me is E-75, in front of me is high flying is uh, light tank. So yeah, especially he is a one shot, so if the I-7 and the Jagdpanz even on the E-75 comes forward, then we're all just dead. So, you know. But apparently they don't know, because they just uh, want to get... Uh, Shot in the face, over and over again. Yeah, this gun is actually that accurate, or accurate, has that much penetration that uh, the front of the third of the E75 is no match for me. So just uh, shoot him straight in the face. Of course, take out uh, maybe his uh, gunner or loader. Yeah, it's always dangerous if you get shot straight in the face. Uh, and well, yeah, like I said, just the waiting game. It seems like the 75 wants to peak again, but oh, the 54 is already there. But then I take a look at the E75 again, and I see a puff of smoke. A puff of smoke in the case that the uh, artillery had actually struck him down and killed the E75. So to E75 that <laughs> actually just looked exactly the same as the as they died. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, somewhat new. Anyways, I7 is around the corner. He is on almost full health. But uh, I just roll forward to take a shot in his side. And then I know that High Flyer is backing me up. So I just roll forward. E75 actually has uh, more um, more interest in High Flyer. He, he takes a look actually at uh, High Flyer every damn time. So. Yeah, our reload time is about the same, but then I take a yeah, I take a few shots from the Amex 1390. So High Flyer just comes rolling in, 
says hello and hopefully blows him oh he wants to blow him away but unfortunately um, yeah if you've counted there were first sh four shots on me and Amex 19 actually has six shots in his magazine so yeah he doesn't actually uh, know how to count and two shots will all take for him to get uh, blown away I don't have enough penetration to kill the uh, Yak Panzer 100 in the front I'm looking for the gap right there but you know E100 also have a weak spot right there I actually bounced the shot you don't believe where but it's on the roof of the Yak Tiger where he actually bounces one of the few spots that he actually can bounce and of course he does bounce there right there but of course I leave him on 1 HP for somebody else to get uh, the killing blow on him D57 just uh, cleans up house comes a rolling on uh, behind him and of course well, the 1 HP what you gonna do he can even ram it if he wants to and uh, kill him but we're almost at the end of the game and I don't actually do a whole lot more uh, to be uh, to be quite frank I just start rolling forward trying to go for the cap but then I get shot from the side and that most likely the SU-1254 and the SU-1254 is actually a, a gun that is um, quite fast firing especially for a Russian gun so I'll just get to this cover a little bit hopefully he won't shoot at me again but apparently he has lost sight or a lost interest in fact because the 271 was a one shot and could easily we uh, just destroy him. He does get uh, shot in from uh, from the center itself one, so it's not uh, not exactly on full health anymore. T57 heavy just comes rolling in, one shot into him, and he's dead. So that's a victory for us, and quite uh, well fought victory actually, because we were quite uh, outmatched in the middle. And that's the end of that game. It was actually a pretty good game. Got a lot of damage in. 8 shots fired, 8 shots pen hit and 8 shots penetrate. So that resulted in 3.500 damage done. Which is very very good. Not well, was only that but I also spotted a bit and got a lot of tracking damage. For, um, for shooting the enemy tanks and actually hitting in the track penetrating doom damage and tracking them. So that somebody else like the GW pen uh, Panther Tiger could actually hit them as well and that was already 1500 damage assistant damage actually only shot 4 tanks but did a lot of damage to them so that's uh, always nice to see going on to the detail report got the top XP 1132 base experience which is very good uh, 3500 damage done uh, as I said didn't get top damage done the 371 was uh, played very good and the T57 Heavy got actually more damage in and he also got a lot more damage in than his buddy so yeah screw you guys always, uh, always nice to see a bit of a uh, platoon uh, rivalry but uh, let's go to the detour supports yeah 8 shots hit 8 shots penetrate and 8 shots uh, yeah, did damage so yeah all in all that was a pretty good game and well, actually, the damage blocked by armor, which is kind of ridiculous, 1675, which is not entirely true because, well, most of that was from the Jakmans E100 that shot the roof of my tank, which is kind of silly, but he did and bounced and lived actually with 1 HP, but died by T57 in the butt. So, yeah, that uh, was a pretty good game.